Northland of Alaska. This little windy, you want to be smoky. Say hi, smoky. Smoky, don't want to say hi, it's too windy. Anyway, we're up here at Anchorage, Alaska. Papi Diablo back with the KASR video on Alaskan Adventure. We're here, Anchorage, Alaska. We're downtown. Downtown. About as downtown as you get. This is Fourth Avenue, and uh, we're gonna be doing a little tour. This is a uh, the old historic mecca. It's where, like any downtowns, is where they start and is where they fall apart. But this downtown's made a recovery. They've got a lot of tour shops, and uh, down here, come on, come on, Padre. We got a. Uh, Fourth Avenue Theater. Fourth Avenue Theater used to be a regular theater. And what's so distinct about it in Alaska, it is the only balcony theater in Alaska. It is the oldest theater in Alaska. And they've turned it into a um, tourist shop slash, I don't know, tourist theater. They've got all kinds of stuff in there. We're going to check that out. We're going to check out uh, some old earthquake damage down here. We're going to check out some new developments. We're going to check out where the winos and the hookers hang out. Because um, you know, a little bit later on down the street, that's where all that stuff takes place. So let's go down here and check out the theater. And uh, get some more stuff coming in. Theater. And uh, if you recognize these guys, I went to school with these guys. No, I'm kidding. This is Rob Morrow and oh, the lovely Janine Turner from North Exposure, which they shoot down in um, near Seattle, Washington, which is not quite Anchorage, Alaska, but they refer to here a lot, so I couldn't resist. Had to plug that in. Anyway, let's go in here and see if they're even open. Got a back with you. Got a fellow Alaskan, I assume. Yeah. You from Cordova? No, I'm from New Orleans originally, but I worked here for 20 years off and on. Oh, wow. I was born and raised here. Really? I, I love Anchorage. You come back and visit and stuff. Of all the times I keep leaving, I keep coming back. Really? I don't know. I mean, it's just, you can you can take the the, the guy the person out of Alaska, but not the person the Alaska out of the person. That's right. I think it's right. Yeah. yeah. No works for me. They all know me. Yeah. I'm a DJ in Arizona. We do a video. Oh, we do a video show. Oh, so I see you got the Danny yeah, White's Arizona on. State. Danny White's on. Uh, I'm on it. Yeah. I'm a Cowboys fan. All right. Another Cowboys fan. Bitch it. Yeah. All right. Well, we're up here, and um, I was mistaken about the Lathrop Theater. Yeah. The one here in Anchorage. There's well, a... not, not really mistaken. You know, the, you, the Cordova Theater, in, uh, the theater in Cordova is called the Empress Theater. And it was, uh, I think it's the renamed now, but it's, uh, it's, still, it's actually still a movie theater as opposed to this one, which was uh, almost torn down by the, uh, by the Republican administration about 10 years ago until a guy named uh, Robert Godstein bought the building out. And uh, although a lot of people are really, a lot of people are really irritated with uh, the fact to turn into a gift shop, at least it's still standing. So, my name's TC. Hey, TC. Bob Diablo. Bob, Bob Diablo? Bob Diablo. Oh, that's, that's El Paso. Yeah. Miley Farm team. It's kind of southern, kind of like Sun Devils, Diablo. I don't know. El Paso is a uh, minor league team for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers as uh, the Diablos. Really? Cool. Yeah. It's amazing. You should, get a Diablo, you should get a Diablo jersey. That's kind of that'd be pretty funny. I'll have to tell you about that after this video. Let's break right oh, now. One more thing here. Do a video. You what you do? Got, if you're not doing anything this Saturday or next Saturday, that's my band. Uh -huh. Oh, Hopscotch. Hey, the Alaskan music scene. Hold on. Go see a video. We'll be right back. I want to talk to TC for here for a minute. <laughs> And sixth on F was the old Anchorage High School. That was a beautiful building. It was had this had the huge concrete facade and everything. It had the wooden floors. It was gorgeous. And that was torn down by the Republican administration in the, early, in the late 70s, early 80s right. to make way for the the, uh, the Performing Arts Center. And of course, cost overruns. It started at 22 million dollars. By, by the time my, my favorite guy Tony Knowles came in, he had to take responsibility for an 88 million dollar cost overrun. Which that's cool if you can take responsibility. He held the mouth when the 400 boats, right? What? He held them out when the those 400 boats. I don't know. Just no, get him over the top. I would. I would. I would he's the governor of Alaska now. He's the yeah. mayor of Anchorage. Yeah, he's the guy that's. Yeah, he's, he was the mayor of Anchorage from like I think uh, I want to say 85 to something. But when uh, under his under the auspices of Tony Knowles, he was able to I mean, at least took responsibility for that. Right. Which I mean, somebody else did should have. And also, there was the uh, Lusak Library, which is right here, which is right where the uh, Eight Convention Center is. Right. And that was a beautiful building. You used to have really cool dances there. Oh God, a long time this ago. place is beautiful. This yeah. place, the, those two buildings and the, the Eaton Convention Center and the Performing Arts Center should have been built midtown. Right. So there's a lot more parking and a 
lot more ability, ability from the, all the surrounding areas to get to. Yeah, everybody's getting nostalgic about downtown, though. That's like when uh, I've ever told. Is he still in that deli down here? Yeah, that's it. Still in that? Yep. Yeah. Back in the mid '80s, when Tony was mayor, he got all, we had all this oil money rolling in, and so he could like do all this beauty project, and he redid all of Fourth Avenue. They're real nice little tourist area. Oh, and this whole area. And the, yeah. But but the ironic thing is, the development stopped right after his deli. So, sorry, Tony. Just had to plug that in there. But well, I love I, the bike trails. I think it I, it stopped right there. After, yeah, right, like right there after the last bar, yeah. like Club yeah. Two Ten or something like that. Whatever. Yeah, it's down there. We'll go down there and take a look. But anyway, the reason why TC knows so much about this, I thought I knew a lot. I thought my mom knew a lot. But you're a history major. Yeah. When you're going to um, UAA. Uh, this is my fourth college. Yeah. Really? Fourth college. Yeah. I've, Where else you been? Man? Uh, Evergreen in Olympia, Washington, uh, North Texas State in Denton, Texas, and uh, UAF for two and a half years. Oh man, you would well, I just, you know, I've got to keep moving. Okay, that's cool. Well, this building is so nice. I mean, the, yeah. the, the marble, the, like I said, the, the marble facades here yeah, were important. Yeah, let's, let's from, stand over here so people understand what we're talking Oh, this. This is important from Italy. No kidding. Yep. The, and the, the, all the woodwork inside is from uh, California and, uh, other, and yeah, the Brazilian rainforest of all places. <laughs> but you can check it out. It was okay back then. There was a lot more of it. It was less PC. Yeah, less PC. A lot, lot less political <laughs> correctness. That is too well. But like I said, if you stick around for another hour, they, they should at least turn the lights on. Because that's, that's the neons, half the reasons it looks so nice at night. Yeah. And all this is original neon, too. Okay, tell you what. We're going to do another video. And um, we'll be back. Can't start a video. The Alaskan Adventure. It's a little more cold up here. We're just up on the hillside. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's warmer warm, 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 than It's warmer now. Oh, it's up. freezing. Oh, it should be. It's like 30 degrees right now. Oh, yeah. I love 30 here is like 10 up there. Yeah, well, I'm from way cold. I just can't stand heat anymore. I, just, I don't know, it's 100 degree humidity, and uh, it's, I don't know, I like it, but yeah, I, I like this is like the perfect temperature for running around. Yeah, but I tell people. One of these days, Mr. Opportunity gonna be nice.